All right, today is February the 29th, 2016. And we're watching the Western U.S. water vapor loop. And again, once again, we see a perfectly formed uh, right angle. This is uh, produced by a uh, phased array radar. You can see that is a perfect right angle. CD pack fits perfectly in that contour. And this is done, they do this to weaken the core. The uh, All the heat that is generated by this uh, high-powered radar uh, neutralizes the counterclockwise uh, spinning of this core. This is a storm. I think it's a 997 millibar storm. And we had uh, rotation in this system yesterday. <clears throat> but as we can see, uh, they've been hitting this uh, pretty much all night. And here we have the opportunity to show the evidence of uh, man-made <clears throat> intervention, man-made uh, weather manipulation right here. Let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look here at the, uh, let's see, uh, infrared loop. And uh, these two edges are just about as straight as can be. There's just no, no arguing. That is a perfect right angle. Okay. All right, let's go back to the, uh, this is the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see that this was the uh, formerly a hurricane force storm right here. We have a second storm right here. This is rapidly developing hurricane force. And this will uh, move around pretty much in the same pattern. We've got a pinwheel going here. And uh, last season, all of these storms rode up and over uh, into Canada and back down over towards the northeast. And that's why there was so much snow in Boston and up in the northeast. That was a record uh, winter. But this year, they're blocking a lot of this uh, weather. And it's just going around a pinwheel. And they'll beat up on these storms as they continue around on the pinwheel. We can see uh, what's happened to this system here. Uh, this Tomorrow, this system will look pretty much like this one. It'll just wind around, and uh, they will keep these all isolated uh, with high pressure in between. Let's take a look at the... Uh, we can see right here that uh, we've got an isolation margin all around, a border all the way around that one storm. So it will not uh, mix with this low pressure right adjacent to it. We have high pressure here. This is the 13th straight day now of high pressure that's blocking all this uh, rainy weather that we need to uh, solve this drought problem down here in Southern California. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, uh, this is the uh, surface analysis map. And uh, we can see that uh, high pressure down in the right corner. It's the 13th straight day. We've got 1,023 millibar and 1,026 millibar. All the way up, uh, this is all the way to the Canadian border right up here. And all the way down off Baja. All that. That's going to uh, block this cold front and, and all the uh, weather out here. We have one, two, three, four, five lows and troughs, several troughs. And this is a developing hurricane force uh, uh, storm right here. There's a lot of weather off into the uh, right here in the East Pacific. and. Uh, these weather controllers are not allowing anything in. And there's the reason why, right there. 13 days straight. Okay, and today we have irrefutable evidence of uh, weather manipulation on display once again. Here's the uh, sea level pressure analysis. We can see that high pressure all up and down the west coast. And uh, we see a low right down here. That's interesting. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay, let's go to the uh, got a jet stream right here. This is the jet stream map. And uh, things are moving uh, fairly well until right here. We've got that high pressure. That's disrupting the jet stream. Okay, let's go to the... Uh, this is the uh, SSEC map, the water vapor map. And we can see a lot of... 
chemtrail activity right here. Hope you can see that right here. Okay. And we can see that right angle showing up pretty well. This is at an oblique angle. This satellite is much further south. And so that angle is uh, not appearing to be too, uh, too, uh, too square. But uh, if we go back to the other shot here, that's about as square as it gets. And that's caused by uh, a phased array radar. You're hitting the core of this system. We can see the effect that's having. It's drying everything out. Okay. Let's just go ahead and run the loop. So Southern California is, is, is very warm and very dry. We have chemtrails uh, all, all throughout the skies. It's, it's just a a quagmire. It's a mess. The air smells. It's just, it's just awful. Can't wait to move out of here. Okay, so that's it. We'll do a full update uh, later on tonight. That's it.